Video 37, Fiber Optic Patch Cables, What to Know When Selecting. So what do we need to know when choosing fiber optic patch cables? What we need to have for good optical performance in fiber optic patch cables are three primary characteristics, low loss, minimal reflectance, and high mechanical strength. Fiber optic patch cables will come with loss results, and these results will be listed on the packaging. They should be tested in both directions, so there should be four test results for you for a duplex cable or two results for a simplex cable. You will need to know the transmission speed you wish your network to operate at. With so many options available, this will need to be thought through very carefully. Typically, this is a cost-driven decision that is made. 1G, 10G, 40G, and 100G are common speeds used in the Ethernet environments, with talk of 200G, 400G, and 800G in the future. Next, the distance your network needs to operate over will also dictate which products you may need to use. The cutoff for multi-mode depends on the transmission speed chosen. We then need to know the connector type required. There are many choices, so it is important to get this right. Things to note are that most switches will have an SFP port that will support LC connectors, and most media converters will support SC connectors, although many are available with an SFP port or multiple SFP ports as well. Based on all the above, the fiber type of the fiber optic patch cable can be decided. Available options in the marketplace are multi-mode OM1 through to OM5, and then single mode fiber optic patch cable leads to suit those longer distances. Single mode fiber typically transmits infrared light from a laser source and delivers more bandwidth and distance than multi-mode fiber optic cables can. The most important thing to be aware of here is that single mode and multi-mode fiber optic patch cables are not compatible with each other.